Chrome, and you may be wondering why you're seeing an NCAA 07 menu screen in front of you. Well, I received a lot of good feedback from a lot of you all through the comments and stuff over the last few days, and I'm starting to believe that I was a little premature on giving up on NCAA 07. I received some good comments with regards to the fumble situation. That was my biggest issue, and people have been coming back to me and saying they, they have some games where they don't see hardly any. They may just see two. So I think the fumble thing is just, it could be anything and everything. Some games is going to be bad, some not so bad. So I think it's in my best interest and in your all's best interest if I just go all out with NCAA 07. I'm talking about, in order for me to judge this game correctly and fairly, I need to, you know, do another exhibition game. I'm going to start a dynasty with it, go several seasons, and then that gives us enough data in terms of gameplay, in terms of how dynasty is good and is working, especially a, a few years in, see if we see anything weird, hopefully not anything bad on that front. So that means I'm going to put 09 to the side, and we're just going to go all in on 07 and just do a complete deep dive, 100 plus videos, whatever it takes to for me to realize, hey, it's time for me to really start putting some effort into this game. So that's what we're going to do. So today we're going to play an exhibition game, and then after that, hopefully on Sunday, I'm going to post a my last video or my next one for 06, the Mississippi State Dynasty. We got the off-season uh, video to take care of. That's always fun. I want to get that out of the way. And then after that, I want to start a new dynasty somewhere with some team in NCAA 07. So before we get into our exhibition game, let me just show you a couple of things. Let's go to settings. And I have went with a different slider set uh, several days ago. It might have been about a week ago. Someone posted some sliders of 07. He apparently has been playing 07 for many, many, many years and he felt pretty good about those. Now, you got to remember, sliders are going to feel different for everybody. And depict, you know, depending on their skill level and such. But they weren't completely far off from what I was using before. But these seem to be a little bit tougher. Like, it, it should give the CPU uh, a little more oomph, a little more firepower on offense. On top of, I think the run game is going to be pretty, uh, going to be a little bit better on both sides of the field as well. So, let's talk about these just for a little bit. You don't have to go back and look. I don't even remember what my previous slider set was. But here is the offense for the human side. QB accuracy. The only thing I ever actually changed on his was QB accuracy. He had it down to 20%. That's way too low. Uh, the last time I played a game, I had 20% for QB accuracy for human and for CPU. And both teams, both quarterbacks started at 2 for 20 Every throw was just absolutely terrible. So I bumped him up to 40, and we'll see how that goes there. But as you can see here, he's got the wide receiver catching up 70. That kind of makes sense because we tend to get more drops on our end compared to the CPU, which he kept at 50. Uh, the biggest thing is he had 50 and uh, 50 for the blocking. That should help the CPU offense, passing-wise, running-wise, what have you. He also boosted running back ability up a little bit as well compared to what I think I had before. And ours is down a little bit, which makes sense, I guess, because I'm really good with a running back. I know how to juke and jive and weave and all that good stuff. So we'll see how all that plays out. Uh, we can go to defense. He's For the C, uh, well, let's just go here. We'll go to human. Awareness, 25%. That's fine, I guess. I, I'm not too worried about this. It's understandable. He's got knockdowns pretty high. Interceptions are very low. It's down to zero, and it should be because there are still teams getting interceptions. So I don't know if that slider is useless or not. But anyway, both teams have it at 0%, so that makes sense. Break block for human is 20 and 20. Uh, that should be fine there, I guess. And CPU, you could tell the CPU defense is a little more stronger than what I have it on, So which is fine by me, whatever. All right, we can go to special teams. I haven't done enough of this. The only way I can really test some of this is in practice mode, but I'm okay with some of this. If the accuracy, he's got it down to 0%. If I'm missing left and right, even with the new kick meter, which is supposedly much easier to use, then I may have to change something. But otherwise, I don't have an opinion on any of these. Same with CPU. He's got the accuracy down to 0%. So we should see some wild kicks, I guess. 
to go with that. Now, I didn't change anything on the penalty front. The last exhibition game we had, I like that. We had, a, what, six penalties, maybe five or six in the game. So I was perfectly okay with what I saw there. Of course, I'm going to stick this at 20% because every time somebody winks at somebody, the flag is going to go up for unsportsmanlike conduct. So I'm going to keep all that as is. So I'm excited about that. I've got to play a couple games with these sliders, and I, I thought they were fine. So I think the best thing to do is I'm going to leave the sliders as is for like an entire season. And then after that season, then we can sort of judge. Instead of just judging off of one game, hey, let's adjust. Let's do it off of 12. You go through a whole season. Then you can kind of see, okay, in that 12, 13-game span, what was really off, what was consistently bad, what was consistently good, so on and so forth. Otherwise, I'm going to be sitting here forever just changing sliders. I don't want to do that because that bores me to death. As long as we're getting halfway realistic you know, results and whatnot, then I'm good with it. So that's what we're going to do. All right, now on to the exhibition game. I wanted to do another cupcake video game. I'm going to be the cupcake taking on a powerhouse. We're going to take on Virginia Tech, and I'm going to select... Louisiana Monroe, only because they got a pretty unique playbook. I didn't, I really don't care what type of offense we was going to run, but I like their playbooks. So I'm going to go with them. Also, they, they're a C overall team, so we'll see if Virginia Tech puts it to us. Virginia Tech should be able to run the ball on us today. That's why I sort of picked them. I was going to pick a team like Wisconsin, maybe, only because they run the ball a ton, but they're a B plus. I'd rather go up against a team that's got a whole lot more talent and maybe a little easier to gauge. Plus, Virginia Tech is always known to run the ball a ton. So we're going to go with that. Let's go here. We'll do a noon game. No, let's do a night game. We'll go custom. We'll take the wind down a little bit, make it a little bit easier. Okay, to we'll do that. They are a 4-3 team. That's what I want to see. I want to be a 4-3 team just to judge things a little bit fairly, keep it consistent. Offensive playbook, yes. Let's check out their uniform. They probably just have one. Ooh, they have an alternate. They have this, the maroon pants. Or the white pants. We're going to go done. Let's see what their default is. We'll go with the maroon. No, we'll do the all white, I guess. It doesn't really matter. That We'll both have kind of similar colors. Uh, I bet they... No, they just got a home and an away. That's it. So I may do the maroon pants. So let's just do that. Let's do that. Okay. I think we are set up to go. Uh, offensive playbook. Team specific. There we go. I wanted to use their playbook. They got a couple different things I don't think I've shown yet. So I think we're good to go. So I'm 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 excited and motivated to push through with 07. I'm just going to find things that are bad, but here's my priorities going forward. First, we got to have a solid dynasty mode. None of this matters if the dynasty mode sucks in terms of something is glitchy, that type of thing, because this is why the reason we all play it. That's why I play it as dynasty mode. I'm willing to forgive a, a weird little gameplay mechanic or two as long as the dynasty is good. So that's just something to keep in mind. Hi everybody, Brad Nessler here and with me. We could go through all that. It's the exact same as 06. Let's just get right into it. Uh, we won the toss. Let's get the ball first. That's fine. I haven't looked at our roster too much. So let's look at that real quick. Let's go. Let's go to our playbook first. Let's get that out of the way. Just get an idea of what you're going to expect. Ace big, ace twin tight end slot, ace slot, ace wide trips, and then the rest of it's gun. Gun split twins. I love this formation. You can do a lot of cool run things out of it. You got gun ace twins, normal wide trips, halfback wig. That's a good formation there. Spread trips, empty trips tight end. I love this formation. I'm going to use this a ton in my uh, first dynasty. I I have, we'll talk about my new offense later, but that's this formation will probably in the new playbook and gun five wide. Okay, let's look at our team, kind of give a sense of what we got. We got a bunch of quarterbacks in the low 70s. Our starter's got 84 speed, so we're going to try to run with him some today. If you look over here, throwing power and accuracy, his accuracy is terrible. So a 74 accuracy, we're going to tell real quick how bad or how good the accuracy rating or the slider is. If he doesn't do all that well, we could put somebody else in. It doesn't really matter to me. We got an impact running back, so hopefully we can run the ball at least some today. 
Let's see, fullback. Okay, receivers. Your average receiving core, I guess, in the Sun Belt Conference. Nothing special there. We got a couple tight ends with decent speed for a tight end and can catch. So my top guy, Mitch Doyle. I'm going to try to get to him the ball some if I can. But our offensive line is nothing special. And if I'm not mistaken, I did turn off the injuries. We can check that here in a little bit. Uh, I, I, I haven't changed them, I don't think. I want to turn them off just for exhibition purposes. We will turn them on in dynasty mode. Again, we're going to do a 4-3, 70 and 76. Defensive tackles, just nothing special. We got a one impact outside linebacker. A middle linebacker, that's not very good. And right outside linebacker, nothing special. We got a one really good corner and not a whole lot after that. So we can maybe do a little bit of nickel because we got the speed maybe. We may do some nickel whenever we see a four or five wide set. Free safety, 80. That's fine. 74. As you can tell, just your run-of-the-mill average Sunbelt team. Okay. Now let's go to Virginia Tech's. Their starter is Sean Glennon. This backup is Ike Whitaker. I, don't, I guess they'll start Glenn, and that's fine. Good little group of running backs. I think they, let's see, a pretty good fullback. They got an impact wide receiver. Good little group of receivers. They may throw the ball today a lot. I don't know. I don't think they will. I think they'll run at least 50% of the time. We'll find out. Really good tight end. Just looking here, all their line is pretty much in the 80s. And then they got a 91, 92 at the ends. 88 and 86, just a really good front four. Linebacker is 95. That's 89 speed for an outside linebacker. It's incredible. That's really hard to find. 93 middle linebacker, 86. So they really should shut us down today, you would think. Uh, Brendan Hill, 85. Just really good front seven. Man, that's awesome. Really good defense. 87 and 82. If they have a weakness, it could be here. If we can spread them out some, force them to play some nickel and dime, we can do some damage there maybe. Really good free safety, and his backups are just as good. And an amazing strong safety, Aaron Rouse. 6'4", 221. Man, that dude, he's playing linebacker. Uh, put him on the edge. Uh, okay, they got an amazing kicker, an amazing punter, and they're loaded. Okay, let's get, let me just check my injury settings. I don't want the injuries to play a factor in this game. Let's go here. I have it off. I, I will try not to forget to turn that on after this because our next video for 07 will be the start of our dynasty. And I'll talk a little about that maybe as the game goes on. All right, let's get the show on the road. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He hits a boom. We got a sweet stadium. Not too far from where I live. All right. Now let's see what left hash. Let's just stick with one formation as best we can and see how that goes. Let's start off with split twins. Now let me check my fullback situation. See if I need to do any formation audibles. 74 speed. He's not really meant to carry the ball. So I may do the twin halfback. That's what I was looking for. There we go. Let's do that. And I got a speedster quarterback. I got Dreg. Let's do the double running back option. Well, folks, lining up at halfback is a very We're going man 4 3. You bet, Brad. This kid has a great we'll probably run to our right. Oh, great defense. Play that perfect. That's a terrible pitch. We can go back and look at this. Let's see here. Go here. I couldn't hit the button quick enough. Oh, yeah, it's the halfback who pitched it, so. Oh, it bounced off of him. That's what it was. He just played it great. I should have kept it, I guess. Ah, that was my fault. I should have just kept it. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, let's stay here. Let's run the ball again. Uh, let's do the QB slot option. They're going zone, 4-3, but they're shifting that way. We'll probably keep this. And that's a glitch right there. I don't know if you noticed that. You can see right here, for whatever reason, I don't know, I've never seen that before. That guy just stood there. I don't know why. He, that's the first time I've ever seen that. I think that's probably a particular play on defense where he does that. If we see that a bunch more, then that's kind of an issue. But either way, that's the only reason why we got the yards we did. So what? where are we at here? Third and two. Let's just stay here and try... 
Off tackle, ramp. Let's do direct. This is an interesting formation to run direct from. Doing that, he's blitzing over there. Oh, that's just, I had nowhere to go here. I couldn't go to the outside on the left. I couldn't go right. Just great defense on Virginia Tech's part. All right, we'll punt it. I have no problem with that. They just played good defense there. Next up, we'll do a different formation and maybe throw the ball a little bit. I'm going to stay back. Okay. Uh, they're going too wide. Let's do a cover one. I, that, I love that formation they got. That's a twin tight end slot from Gun. That's going to be my new playbook. I'll, I'll just say that. Halfback draw. Good run there. Pick up about eight. Seven yards. Still too wide. I want to stick with the one high possible. What are my other options? I'm not a big fan of that cover one. We'll do it, though. I'd rather him blitz, but that's okay. I could do a, hot, a, a smart rat if I wanted to, but or I could hot rat any defensive player to do whatever. Ah, it's a good play right there. Good run. So that's good. The... CPU run game is going really well, as it should. They're going three wide. Uh, let's do a zone blitz. Maybe they'll throw it. I'm sure that defense wouldn't mind putting a lick on you after some of the things you said earlier this week. Let's do that. Virginia Tech lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. Oh, I couldn't get to him in time. Get it, get it. Oh. Is that a knockdown or did he drop it? I couldn't really tell. Now let's go back to another cover one. They're doing that. I'm going yeah, let's flip it. Let's do that. Oh, I was right there. Wow, what a catch. That's a pretty wild catch right there. Looking here. Good play. Now let's do an under front or an over. Let's do over. Let's pick another one. Let's do crash gold. That's another graphical, graphical, is that even a word? Uh, I, it was the safety, his zone thing was pointing down. It doesn't affect anything, but it is what it is. Let's, uh, ah, come on, I'm not see anything. Let's do this one, flattening over. They're at the six. Second down. The Hokies line up with a single setback to it. Ah, touchdown. He took a bad, big spin move right here. I thought the guy was going to get him right there. Oh, that was my fault. I took him over. <laughs> okay. Pretty much going as expected right now. Biggest thing I saw there was they ran the ball pretty well, which I'm pleased with that. They should. And he adds the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. All right, let's get back on offense and try to do something. We can start off with a pass play of something. I don't know what yet. I think I may go with gun normal. I wanted to show you a couple things. Hey, let's just go out with it. A little late on that one. We're like on the 12-yard line. Yeah, that's bad. Let's go with... Uh, we'll go with gun normal. Now, notice the halfback is on the right of the quarterback. But they got a few plays where he's on the left. It's different for every team. Just something to think about, but it's just a little different. Uh, let's start off with something. Let's flip angle, I guess. We're going man. We'll go to somebody on the left. Short armed it. Oh, he caught it. Wow, he's going. No, he may get caught. All right, they went cover zero. 
and he had a beat on. That was actually a pretty good throw. I thought he short armed it. We can look here, and that guy had no chance on that tight end. He tried to go. Yeah, he just way late on that SWAT. He's off to the races. Awesome. Okay. Well, all right. That was what eighty-eight yards. We got the momentum meter down. That's another thing. I think that momentum meter impacts a whole lot more to what I'm thinking. I think that probably affects turnovers. It would not shock me if it did. We'll kind of notice when the turnovers happen, especially like fumbles, and see where the momentum meter is at when that happens. Did they fake it? Yep, they did. Somebody get him. Uh, let's do a quarters of what he passed it. There we go. We're doing that. I'll probably leave it as is. Don't come back. I don't like the way that looked. I wish that corner would. Let's do that. Wow, is that a tight end? Surely not. Uh, they're going three. Let's just do one high. I can see him running it here. They line up at the 26. We're doing that. We'll do this. Not a big fan of that run. That halfback read, it's neither team will be able to make that one work. Third and three. Let's just go back to cover four. They line up at the 27. We get third and three here. Play action. Oh, yeah, good defense. You saw me. That would have been a catch. I got my hand right on it. Oh, no, I guess he should have caught that. Either way, it was a drop, I guess. Ah, uh, fourth down. I, I feel like I had a, an effect on that play of some sort. All right, let's get the ball back. Schmidt with the punt. It's been a long time since I played at this stadium. I mean, a long time. He's also a lefty punter. Schmidt punts it, and this is a wonderful yeah, we'll fair catch that. That guy's about to knock the head off. Okay. We're on the left hash. Let's go back to gun normal. We didn't do a whole lot from there. What do we have here? Let's see. Angle, screen, P, read. They got a few different. Let's do all curls. It's going man. We will go. We're doing that. Go here. Uh, you notice the accuracy here. Now, I kind of threw on the run. Did I have my feet set? I didn't throw it hard. The harder you throw it, the, the better your accuracy better be, or otherwise it's going to be a really bad throw. I threw it on the run. I, I threw a medium pass. I gave the ball some time to breathe and get there. Good play by the receiver coming back for it, though. Okay. Second and five. What else do we got? We got a PA Indy. Let's do PA Indy. We're going man. We got a. Technically, all four of these are decent man beaters. Nope. Bad throw. Oh. We got very lucky. That should have been picked. That was a bad throw. I short armed it. So, what else do we have here? I may have to. Let's do scissors in. We're going man. I'd love to go to either the tight end or to my Z receiver. I'd love to get them off sides. That'd be great. Terrible throw. Just, and that was a medium press. Just a bad throw. So we'll punt it. If I would have thrown it harder, he would have thrown it on the sideline on the far left. High snap. He got it off in time. He's got all day to run, though. Somebody get him. There we go. Okay. Back to defense we go. Let's do quarters out of nickel. Let's see what they call here. We're doing that. Are they? That is. I'm going to leave it as is. Something compelled him to throw it quick. I don't know if somebody jumped the snap well or not. I, I never pay attention to that anymore. 
Let's do, go back to Crash Gold. Another Second one ten. high. Ball on the 40. Go here and the here. Line up in an here. Formation. Okay. Fullback dive. Good game there. Get about six yards. Five yards. Let's go. Do I have? There it is. Fire two. I had it on my mind, so let's call that. Third down. Let's do the this. Go with the eye formation. Play action. Oh, wide open. Wow, what happened there? What happened to this guy right here? He should have been on him. Cover two. Oh, wow, that's an awesome play right there. Cover two. Go route. Oh, wow. Just an awesome play. Look at that. Nobody within yards of At least their pursuit angles are good. There's just no way he's getting to the guy. Okay, so let's go back. He's on a different level what play play do they call? They are an eye normal. I'm pretty sure they ran PA scissors. I don't have this formation in my playbook. But it's PA scissors. Notice how quick the play action is, though. A lot of the under center play actions are quicker in this game than are in 06. They kind of fixed them, more or less. You want them to be quick. Awesome. Great play by their part, though. So that's why I don't call a lot of cover two in that situation. I should have known. Okay. So Virginia Tech is doing their part. All faces of the game, that is for sure. So let's get back on offense and try to do something. We can pick a different formation. And just stick with it. I think that's a good way to kind of go through a lot of the plays. Now, I want to do this. Now, is it going to let me do it? There we go. No, nope, nothing there. I should have went out to the far out left. That's fine. All right, left hash. Let's go. Uh, let's just go here. I got a couple tight ends, so let's use them. Uh, let's run the ball. Let's go with a... Let's do a counter trap. Let's see how they handle it. We're going man 4-3. At least I think they are. Well, they could be a 4-2-5. Let's go this way. That's good defense. Let's try to make those yards back with a option. Do we have it here? Let's do, they got the wide receiver triple option, but let's do the basic one. We're going man. I think they're running a 4 2 5 right there. But that hanging guy is on that side. Wow. Just nothing I can do there. So it's third and forever. I'm going to play this smart. And let's just run the ball. Let's just go speed option again and just survive it and punt it. We're going zone nickel. And they're doing that. That was a good hit. All right. We had, we had to do something there. I didn't want to throw it and throw an interception. I'd rather just, you know, take my beat and take a punt. Be done with it. All right, we'll punt again. Morgan, the return man. I like what I'm seeing so far. I really am. Virginia Tech is doing what they're supposed to do. So they beat this defense up through the air on their last drive. Let's see if they can replicate that. Let's go back and do quarters again, I guess. They'll set up shot at the 48-yard line. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Not a big fan of that. Let's do that. There we go. Oh, man, I'm so close. I may have been really far off, but I thought I was real close to getting an interception. Let's stay here, and let's just stick with quarters. That's fine. Okay, that's a good point. The clock has stopped. That was one little issue that apparently 09 had. We won't even talk. need to talk about that when we're dealing with 07, but... Oh, good throw. That was my fault. I guess that should have been my guy. Good pitch and catch there on second down. All right, in the quarter. Good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. The Hokies are up a touchdown. Oh, let's do an under front. It's first and ten. Let's do a lightning gold. First and ten. I'm ready for them to start running at some. The Hokies come out in the ace formation. Blue 
Play action. Touchdown. Oh, wow. Well, that was a wild throw. Look at that. That was my fault. That, that's perfect. They should have went to that guy. That's smart. I had no chance of getting over there. Perfect throw. Right where needed to be. And like I've said in the previous exhibition games, I think the deep ball is easier to complete in this game than it is in 06, which I find kind of funny because that's what 06 is known for on the negative side of things is the deep ball is too easy. Well, I think it's amped up even more in this game, which is fine. It's good on both ends. Both teams are throwing it deep. but And that's mainly because the defensive backs, they don't jump super high anymore. They, they kind of shoot outwards. Virginia Tech. Alright, back to offense we go. I don't know what we're going to call. We'll probably pick another formation, though. Let's do this. Let me get back in. There we go. Uh, good defense. Nobody blocked on that one. Let's go here. Uh, no, I need to run the ball at least a little bit. Let's go wide trips halfback week. What do we have here? Let's do that motion wide receiver option. Let's flip it. They're going zone. They're doing that. I, mm, we're definitely going to keep this. Now, what we can do, this is really cool. We can bring him out. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. Let's go here. Didn't get a whole lot of yards out of it. We can break that play down. You can motion. I think I didn't need to do it. Let's go back. Uh, you can motion your slot receiver, depending on the formation, if they have the motion wide receiver option or the triple option play with the wide receiver, you can motion the wide receiver to the backfield like we just done right there. Think Percy Harvin type stuff of Florida. Pretty obvious why I needed to keep this. Everybody and their brother was on that side of the field. At this point, I got a little spooked. Well, that's probably smart on my part to pitch it there. But they just played great defense. That's great pursuit. Awesome play, though. Now, 07 doesn't have the auto motion like 09 does, but I'm okay with that. I'm so used to moving guys around anyways myself. It's not a big deal. Let's do dig smash. That looks interesting. We're going man. Now, I'd love to hit this deep dig if I have time to throw it, though. He's coming down. Surveys the field. He's looking down the middle. Bad throw, and I threw a medium press. The lighter you throw it, the better the accuracy should be. But as you can tell, just way off. And remember, we got a quarterback with 74 accuracy, so I probably need to run it going forward with this kid for the most part. So that's my fault for probably throwing too much with him. But now it's third and long. Let's pick something where I think I can convert it. There's that. Uh, ooh, split and drag. Yes, I love it. Let's go. With that. All right, they're going zone. We have to get a. Uh, we'll probably go to one of the receivers on the right, depending on. They're going too deep, two safeties. He passes it. Good catch, first down. Okay, let's stay here. No, let's go back to Y trips halfback week. Let's pick another play. Uh, let's do speed option. Let's get our quarterback going on the run game. We're going zone. We're doing that. We'll probably go here. Just great defense. I mean, they're shutting that down. Let's stay here and let's try something else. What else do we got? We got a flat combo, I may call that. Let's do slot drive. That looks nasty. We're going zone. We're doing a crazy 4 3 of some sort. Terrible throw. I, mean, I threw it really hard. So this guy can't throw to save his life. I mean, it's like every other throw is either good or it's terrible. He was supposed to go to the shallow and it didn't. So let's go back to that same play. Split in drag. I feel comfortable with it. Only because I love that flag right on the left. And we're going zone again. We'll probably go to one of the receivers on the right. Depending on the coverage. Do a slide protection. Do with that. Nope. Just another bad throw. So here's what we're going to do. Let's give him a break. Let's put somebody in who can throw it at least a little bit better. Uh, let's give the... I think these both of these two guys have the same arm. 
This guy's got a little bit better accuracy, so let's go with him. Let's go with Payne instead. Let's do that. Now, he's a 70 overall. I don't expect much. And if he can't throw it much better either, then we may put in our other guy and we'll just run the ball the entire time. I don't know what else to do because my quarterbacks just aren't making good throws, which is normal because these guys are in the mid-70s. Their accuracy is just terrible right now, and it probably will be for the rest of the game. Yet, I think that's the way it's supposed to. I just have that feeling that... Now, every throw is kind of looking rough. I mean, it's like three out of four are looking bad, but I'm okay with it. Now, if he had like 85 throwing accuracy, I'd be worried. I would adjust some things. Let's flip this. That's a good play call right there. Uh-oh, he got... He got Dang it. Let's see what happened here. Good block there. And that guy was too slow to get to him. I had to take him over on that one. Big run. That might have been good night, sweetheart there. Yeah, he's putting on a show right now. Four wide. Let's do. Let's just go back to quarters. Half back correct. Somebody get him. Ah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. All right, this is getting to be a blowout, which is good, and they may really blow me out. I mean, look at how much time's left in the quarter. I got to do something off on offense to keep it interesting. But, like I said, they should beat me badly in this one, and so far they are. So we're putting in another quarterback. We need to get our running back the ball. He's an impact guy. I keep forgetting to try to give him the... But the few times I have, I mean, he's getting stuffed every time. I don't think we've had one positive run play all game so far. Let's go here. I, this is the only way to work around this camera. He's backing out like that. Oh, I thought it was going to be a little crease there. All right, right hash. Let's go here and... What do we have? We can try a slam. I don't know if he can handle it. We're going man. Yeah, we got two yards rushing. Needs to be a little bit better if we can. Get a good block there. Good block. Stiff arm. Ah, get off me, son. Okay, first down. We're going to stay here. Let's see what's an ace big for them. They got a split in drag, which is really cool. Seamers, X post. Uh, let's just call X post. Uh, yeah, let's. We'll do this. We'll flip it. We're going zone. I may just hand, dump this off to my halfback regardless. He is R1, and they're doing that. We'll go there. We got our center beater with a tight end. And now it wasn't a very good throw, but he got some yards out of it at least. Second and six. What else do we have? Let's do flank or curl. It's another version of it. Now right, they're going man. They're going nickel. I'd love to go to Hogan here. That guy's being double teamed. Good throw there. Oh, he got hit as soon as he caught it. Now it's third and six. To make plays like that. Let's get in the gun. Let's try to give him some space if possible. Can I get a first down? I prefer my halfback to be involved here. Let's just go all curls. All right, they're going man. We're going to try to hit one of the curls. They're scrunching in. Blitz came right on through. What do you do, you know? I done the slide protection inward because they the defensive line crunched in, but we just didn't have enough bodies to block. Another high snap. Okay, back to defense we go. Can we stomp them? Probably not, but we'll try. Let's go back to a cover of one. Right now, I'm not a huge fan of the over and under fronts. I just got to get used to them. I got to look at the plays more. Plus, I like the way we shift out of this formation. Good 
defense there. It's second and 11. We're going to take a chance in zone blitz. Maybe we can get to the quarterback. I'm going to guess they're going to throw. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Oh, no. Good stop, though. Fake me out. Okay, we, we're forcing the third and long. Let's do a basic cover three, I guess. I'll control a defensive lineman. Let's see what we got here. Let's do that. Let's control a defensive tackle. Oh, I, even I got ran over. Ah, what do you do? There's a good play. You know, they did a great job here of not just getting past the Back to defense we go. Let's do it. Oh, they got a bear front. That's the 46. That's what they're calling. They're calling the 46. I was wondering what that is. was. It looked like a 425. Let's try the 425. Let's go, or the 46. Let's go 85 bears on them here. Let's do this. I love that formation. That's definitely going to be my playbook in the dynasty. Halfback direct. Oh, look at this blocking. Wow. Look at this hole right here. Look at this hole right here. Look at that. Golly. That's a Mack truck right there. Look at that. If he'd have went to that, of course, I made a good tackle here, but still. Wow, what a great block. Okay, this is, I'm, I'm very pleased. The run game is looking good for the CPU. I mean, and they should against my type of defense and my talent. They're going 4-3 here. Or going three wide. Let's go quarters. They line up at the 12. Oh, it's second and two. My guess is they're going to run it. I didn't think about that. I'll probably stay in. F back direct. Ah, good play. Caught me underneath. Another touchdown. Why not? This just goes to show you that there is more to playing defense. Okay, good deal. Good deal. I mean, I'm actually pleased. I've never been more pleased to be blown out right now than this right here. And today, those mismatches have turned into touchdowns. I could, uh, since this game is over with, I don't have to talk too much about what's going on right now unless something crazy happens. Uh, we could talk about my new offense for the Dynasty. I'm already working on it. I'm working on the new playbook. It's going to be a spread offense, sort of. It's going to be like what Florida does, what Dan Mullen does. But it's pretty much going to be all brand new to what we're used to. You're not going to see a whole lot of 06 plays and formations. You're going to see a lot of 07 stuff. And that's all I'll say about that. I don't want to pitch and hold myself to it. It's going to be balanced. It's, it's going to be just, you know, whatever's best for the current, uh, best for the current roster, that type of thing. Let's go back to QB slot option. I don't really need a speedy quarterback to do this, but I'm going to shift in that way. Uh, I'm going to hand it off to him anyways. No, he's just too slow. Very unfortunate just to get three yards out of that. That's a three yard pickup on the Let's go Ace Twins. I don't think they got anything new in this formation for this playbook. Well, let's do tunnel screen. Let's flip it. We're going man. I'm going to go to my halfback. Another reason why I call this. Get a first. Didn't even get the first down. 30 inches. Gosh, I swear. Let's go back here. Let's go halfback angle. We're going man. We got to get with it if I want to score before half. Terrible throw. Ali, come on, fellas. No, I mean, I, I have to look at this. So, I want your all's opinion on this. Okay, three of eight, two of five. This is probably normal for those two players because let's go back here and look at their accuracy. So neither one is throwing the ball all that well, but they don't have very good accuracy. So me personally, I'm okay with what's happening here. Now, they're making some really bad throws, but it's like every now and then they should make at least a halfway decent throw, and I'm not even throwing it that hard. And they're still pretty off. But I'm for whatever reason, I'm okay with it stuck at 40%. Now, Virginia Tech, their quarterback, he's doing a pretty decent job. You go back to the stats individual right here. He's 7 to 10. He's on the dot a lot. So, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm okay with a 40% across the board for both quarterback accuracies. 
I, I, I would love to see my quarterback throw it a little bit better every now and then, but it just hasn't happened for whatever reason. I've seen a good curl wrath thrown too, but when he dropped it, he threw the deep ball perfectly. I think we threw a dig wrap pretty well, but the rest of it was kind of off. I don't know. Otherwise, I think I'm okay with it. Right, let's go okay. Back to quarters. I'd love to try to prevent them from scoring here before half because they get the ball started second half. It's my fault. I probably should have ran clock on that last one. I was trying to find a way to score before half, but it just didn't work out. Good throw there. I had to defend the fullback. I couldn't go after that guy. I couldn't guard, can't guard both. No, I don't want to do that. Let's do that. Now let's go back. No, let's go back. Here. Another good throw. Just right on it. Now, again, I, one thing we need to look at. Let's look at Glennon's accuracy. I did not think about that. 86. That's really good accuracy. So it makes sense that he's 8 for 11 right now. So I'm okay with that. If it was 76 and he's pinpointing a lot of these throws, then I may be a little more concerned. So right now, I'm okay with it. Okay, let's try to go after him. Do something, anything. Good stop there. Halfback draw out of the gun is still very slow. Defense. We'll go defensive line. I'm going to call something. It's too lightning, too. One minute left in the first half. Go back here. Let's go inside here. We'll go on the B gap. Get out of bounds. Third and four. So the clock has stopped. That's what's supposed to happen. 10 for 13. He's playing great. I mean, just it is what it is. Uh, let's do something weird. Let's throw a monster three at him and see how he reacts to that. Great defense. Now, I'm going to call a timeout. We're going to kick a field goal. We're going to go defensive line. We're going to go safe man. I would love to go to this right here, but I can't really see what's going on. So I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. Perfect point. That's a perfect kick. And if you go back to our sliders, special team, CPU, kick accuracy, 0%. That's why he put it down to 0. Because that guy just nailed it like it was nobody's business. Now, that kicker's got like 92 overall. But still... Now you kind of understand why he knocked it down to zero. Okay, we are getting obliterated. I'd love to keep scoring something, anything, but right now their defense is incredible. This is probably the best defense in the game, Virginia Tech's, if I had to guess. I think it was an A+. 47 seconds. I'm going to run the ball. I'm going to put the other guy back in. Give him some more reps. Let's just go ahead and do that. Lancaster, is that him? It is. Let's pick, uh, let's do this. Let's do this QB slot option. Here's a look at the They're going zone 4-3. See, I mean, it's just, Lancaster. they're doing that. To the right. Nope, not him. And you can't bring this guy up. It's the other one. It ain't going to work. Okay, that's fine. We'll just do this. I was trying to bring him into the backfield and it didn't work. Uh, let's go here and let's try it. Let's go. This one should work. Motion wide receiver option. We're going, man. I'm not going to try to score here. I think it, we're too far back. and I'm just trying to run clock at this point. Let's go here. That's a face mask. We're going to get some yards back. That's the first flag of the day, I think. That is correct. 34. Now, is that clock going to stay stopped? Now, I may actually want to try to do something here. Nope, the clock's still going. 
I figured that would stop. Let's go cover one. Ooh. I'm going to let that clock go. I'm uh, perfectly fine with that. Let's do QB power. If I could sneak it in in, in time. We're going manical here. Good little counter play. You see this right here? Which I think the guard pulls. Yes, he pulls. Great little play right here. Good block by the pulling guard. And I got all this room to work with. Okay. End of the half. Let's look at some stats. Let's go stats and scores. Okay, the score, I'm okay with that. They should be able to destroy me, and they are. First downs, whatever. Their offense is killing it right now. They got a balanced offense. They're running the ball really well. They're throwing the ball really well. Everything's going right for them on offense, as it should. My defense isn't very good. Theirs is amazing. That's why we barely have 160 yards. No sacks. That's I, fine, I guess. I haven't looked too much into that yet. Third down conversion, that's probably fine. I don't care too much. Biggest thing, turnover, zero, fumbles. Where was the one fumble? I don't remember the one fumble. Who fumbled? I don't remember that. We didn't lose it. We must have fumbled. I don't remember fumbling. Either way, interceptions, nothing. So this is really good. I like that. Now, there are going to be some games where this is going to be really high. I'm just going to have to get over it. Part return yards, blah, blah, blah. I don't really care about the rest of that. So let's get back into it. The individual stats, it's whatever. I'm not too worried about that. It's the team stuff that I'm more not concerned about, more aware of, that I care more about. Royal takes it at the four. Good tackle there. Oh, let's just do a cover one. I can see him running the ball. Where's their impact receiver? He's on the far right. So I'm going to do this. Let me go here. I just, who do you go? You know, who do you go after? Both guys were going to be open. I, I went after the impact guy. Just tried to double team him. And it didn't work. So let's try some of this. Let's go with a cover two man. That way I can just defend one side of the field. I'll control this a little bit. should be easier on this side. Oh, look at this play right here. Uh-oh. He gone. He gone. Touchdown. Should have gotten him right here. Now, they called the QB slot option play. No, they didn't. That was a, I don't know what that, that was QB ramp? That's QB ramp. Anytime you see a pulling tackle, it is a QB ramp. Either way, I should have tackled him right here, and he just broke it, you know. And I couldn't get to him there, and it's just off to the races. So what do you do about that, you know? It is what it is. Okay. We may get beat by 80. <laughs> On the ground for this game. Well, we know everything difficulty-wise is at a good point. I mean, I'm getting smothered now. If I start seeing this against a team that's equally talented, then I may be a little bit worried. But we'll worry about that in Dynasty mode. I want to test that going forward with Dynasty mode. Exhibition games are over with. I think I've proven my point. I think we're ready for Dynasty. All right, let's see if we can do something here. Dawson, get a block the right there. Make the move. Sheds that one. Just don't fumble it. All right, left hash. We got our speedy quarterback back in there. Do I have a speed option here? I don't. I know I got basic option there. Let's go back here and let's try QB slot option. Let's take a look at the We're going zone 4 3. I may just hand this off. We're going to hand this off. Just good defense. You know, what do you do? Nowhere to go. Uh, Ace Twins. Let's go empty trips tight end. Now, they got all awesome stuff in here. Let's do this tight end drag. That looks pretty good. 
They're going zone, so I hope I can give this to somebody underneath. Hopefully I don't mess this up. They'll line it up with four wide receivers. Wait till the last moment. And it's caught. Get about five yards. Not the best throw, but at least he caught it. Now it's third and five. Let's just stay here and see what we got. He's got a quick release and he's very accurate. We probably need to keep this simple. Oh, that wide receiver screen looks nasty. We may try that later. I prefer to do something. Let's do mid attack. That's fine. We're going man. We're going man. We're going man. I'm going to try to go to my tight end here. Unless they bring that other safety and they go to Samp. Terrible throw. You see, he had to come back for it. Now, I throw it really hard. The harder you throw it, the less your accuracy will be on point, depending on the quarterback's accuracy. As we all know, this quarterback doesn't have very good accuracy. So, but thank the Lord my tight end came back for it. So... Good play there. We're on the right there. Let's go. Let's do speed option. We're going zone nickel. I'm going to hurry up here before they try to shift. Let's go with it. Nothing there. Nothing there. Now what we can try. We need to give it to our running back. He needs to touch the ball. So let's go. They do not have a halfback direct there. Uh, let's try. Nothing there. We'll flip it. We'll do a toss play. My quarterback's about to get pretty gassed. We're going zone. Let's just toss it. Left guard got beat badly right here. I mean, what do you do? Just got pushed back. Third and 11. Are we in like in the middle of the field or? I'm going to let him finish the drive. Uh, let's do deep attack. Third we're going man. Third. Now I kind of wish we had split in flag. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a smart route. We're going to go L1. Ooh, no, we're not going to. We're going to go over the top. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I couldn't even get it off at time. Look at this. I mean, I just, I should have threw it sooner, I guess. Very fortunate they didn't get picked off. What do you do, though? They're just playing perfect defense. Another bad snap. He had to go the other direction. Uh oh. Oh, uh, let's put in our other quarterback. Our starting quarterback, he just isn't doing anything. Our run game isn't going to do anything today, so we might as well throw it some more. Put in somebody who can throw it a little bit better. Let's do a zone blitz. Maybe they'll go play action. They'll put in their subs here in a minute. No, go back. Let's do that. There we go. Fullback dive. They got nine yards there. Perfect play call against that defense. Let's go to the bear front. Let's go crash gold. Second down. Ball on the 43 yard line. No, let's go back. I didn't like the way that looked. I'm okay with fans. Another fullback dive. First down. And they make the stop at the 38. How about that run? I love this right here. They're just really sticking it to it. Old fashioned football. Let's do quarters at a nickel. And let him grind it out for the first down. Five DBs on the field. Like I said, they'll put in their backups after this drive, if I had to guess. Pick that off. My gosh. They're making every catch and everything. Everything. Every throw has just been on point for them. But like I said, they got a pretty good quarterback. Let's go back to the bear and let's do another. Uh, let's do strong safety fire. And since we're in the red zone. Let's have a look at the numbers brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters most, they're in the eye. This doesn't look right. Okay. Every catch. Look at that. 11 straight completions. That's like a... Mm. 
Oh, man, I don't know what to think about that. Now it's getting to the point where they're just catching everything. Virginia Tech comes to the line with three wide. Looks to pass. Touchdown. What do you do? They're catching everything. I mean, I got my wide receiver catching on 50% for both, but it's like, gee whiz, they're making all types of crazy catches. I got a 70 for my end, and they got a 50 for CPU, but that's 12 state completions. I don't know what to think about that, to be honest. I mean, their wide receivers are just crazy catches. Our defenders aren't catch, are doing anything. No knockdowns. We can check that. I think we can check that stat on the defensive side of things. Virginia Tech, the kick. Might as well to go ahead and do this. Let's go here. William from his own end zone. Just don't fumble it. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. Uh, let's go. Let's go flag combo. Let's throw a little bit. They'll if they'll let us. I don't know. First and ten. Let's go one man. Let's see. And up in the shotgun. He drops back. And as he throws. Just. Center got destroyed. Look at this. I had no time. What do you do? I don't know what to do about that. They just played great. And I don't have... Let's see. QB sprint, QB draw. Let's do a counter trap. I want to at least give it to an impact player before we got to go third and long. It's second and ten. No protection whatsoever. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Third and forever. We can try. We're in the middle of the field, so let's do stretch. We're going zone. Let's go. I'm going to hot route. Oh, he, he can hear those. That's actually a good thing. I thought you could be able to pull those off at any time. Apparently not. He's looking. He's going left. Intercept. That was my fault. I was just a bad throw. Oh gosh. What an annihilation. Imagine if they ran the ball the entire time. We'd really be hurting. They still got their first string in there. Like they like it matters. Oh, you should have mm, picked that off next time. 14 of 18. He's had a perfect game, more or less. Let's go quarters, I guess. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 28 yard line. back to pass. Looking. He throws right. Another great catch. Look at that, man. He ran a good route there. Third and four. Yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small. Let's go with an all-out blitz. Let's go with a Thunder Green and see what they do. That's a good stop. Kick a field goal, please. Show us some mercy. We'll get back on offense. Try to do something. Not a big fan of that camera. I don't know how he... The only way that can really help you, I guess, is if you're on the edge trying to block it. Perfect kick. I'd love to try to move the ball some, but we haven't been able to. I mean, their defense is about the best, like I said, in the game. Let's do this so I can see what's happening. Just don't fumble it. Oh, what a hit. 
Great job by the defense last time. Okay, right hash. Let's try. I'd love to try to do a toss play. Let's give it a running back something to do if we can get it off. Brought to you by Coke. Well, let's just go here. Perfect defense. Just sitting there waiting on it. Perfect, perfect defense. Let's get back here. No, I want to go back. Let's do this. Let's go with trips. Let's do that screen play. Wide receiver screen. They're going man. You got a perfect man combo on the right with a zone on the left. So let's just work off the safeties here. They're doing that. Good throw, and he drops it. <sighs> I mean, that's perfect throw. At least the quarterback made a decent throw. Doesn't matter, though. Let's go back. Uh, let's go back to split and drag, I guess. Zone dime. Terrible throw. What in the world was that? Golly. Uh, that's starting to aggravate me a, a bit. I don't know. I, I threw it. I tapped the ball. And he still threw it five yards past the line of, or past the sideline. I don't get it. Man, that's just whatever. No big deal. Now, don't put your first string back out there. Please don't. Of course, they got him in there. That's another good formation, that offset, split offset. Interception. Woo! Finally got in the way of one. Get excited about something. Man, we got to score off of this play. Let's go off of here. Let's go. Let's do P.A. Reed. We'll do an old school 06 play. We're going 4 to 3, though, so we're definitely going to throw unless they shift hard. And they're not. We're probably going to go over to Merritt. Bad throw. Dang it. He caught it, though. He's supposed to throw it over here, and I tapped the button. He's supposed to lob it. But his accuracy was so bad here, he curled in. Look at that. He catches it like right here, and he was supposed to throw it over here. It looked like We're very fortunate we got that one. Yeah, but you got to give the credit to the quarterback here. Not only does uh, he 55 run, set. All right, we're on the three. All the Let's see if they got any unique goal line hands. stuff. I've seen a couple. I need. You see this right here? They got offset. You got the fullback offset like that. That's pretty cool. And this one, some of them are offset, some of them aren't. Toss weak. I want to do something. Let's do counter. We'll see what they can do I don't expect to score on this one, but you never know. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Well, that may actually help us. Give us some room to work with. All right, we're back to the eight. Let's go. Let's go here. They got a five wide. Let's put in our tight end. There we go. Let's do curl flats. We're going zone. We'll have to go to Radzevich. Radzevich. He gets R1. Good throw. Touchdown. Woo! Finally got a touchdown. Good throw. That's what I want to see right there. Good. Every other throw, I'm, I'm okay with that with that guy's accuracy. I threw it hard, too, so it actually surprised that he threw it as accuracy did. Okay, so what we can do, let's experiment with the onside kick stuff. I don't, I haven't practiced any of it whatsoever. So we can try it. It's an exhibition game, so it doesn't matter. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac Drive summary. Let's see if we can get the ball back. I think you've got to... Let's go onside kick. And we're well, going to put this up top. To let's see. Let's go here. Ah, just not a... <laughs> Did even make past five yards. I don't know the strategy behind this. I'm sure it's completely different than an 06. It got no bounce whatsoever. Maybe I need to kick underneath. I don't know. If I need to put it at the bottom, that's what I need to start doing. That's probably what happened there. 
I put full strength to it, but whatever. Okay, let's get back on defense. I'm keeping my first string out there. And they got their backups in now. Their backup quarterback can really fly. So you got to watch out for that. Good play there. Thank you. He's gone. Fumble! Somehow he got out of... Nope. Burp, burp. That was weird. You can challenge the play. They may challenge this. I'm just curious. That's okay. Yeah, interesting. Uh, I, I, they have no need to challenge it. They got their first down. My bad. Let's just go back here and go back to quarters. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to I thought he looked out of bounds when it happened, but whatever. Nope, back this way. Bad throw. Good. Now let's look at this guy's QB accuracy. That was a terrible throw, so I'm guessing his accuracy isn't the best in the world. I like Whitaker. That's an awesome name. 82 accuracy, but you go back to the replay, and that was just a terrible throw. Wasn't even close. We can look at it from this angle. He had his feet set, and burnt, whiffed it. That's good to see. Okay, back. It is four wide. Let's just let's do a cover three. We'll throw a wild cover three on third down if we can get to that point. Let's control defensive lineman this time. Wow, good run right there. Pick up about nine yards, eight yards. We're going two wide. We're going to go to our bare front. Let's go in all ad blitz again. Thunder green. We'll get everybody down. And I pressed that way too late. Ooh, he didn't get it. Kick a field goal. All right, we still got a ton of time left. This game's going by really slow. I still like it at six-minute quarters, but, I mean, I feel like the game, I almost feel like it should have been over by now. <laughs> That's an easy fix, though, if we ever get tired of the six-minute quarters. But we still got another five minutes to go in the fourth. I'm going to keep my quarterback in there. I want to run the ball if I can. with this guy right here if I can. Let's do here. Let's get out of it. Get a block right there. Halfway decent run. But at least they're still working hard. I like a never quits. I should have QB rap. Dang it, I want to do QB rap. That's okay. We'll stick with this. I'm going to hand this off. Perfect defense. Hasn't done it. negative point six yards average for our star running back. Whew. Um, and he is not feeling it. Let's go wide trips. Let's do counter trap. We're going zone four three. We're doing that. Dawson, the lone bat. Dawson gets another hand off. He's feeling it. He's a little gas. I can kind of tell. Good run, though. One of his best runs of the day. Let's go back to five wide, and I feel more comfortable. Let's go back to curl flats. Let's just try to pick up the first if possible. We're going zone. I wonder if my tight end can hear this. Nope, he can't. Dang it. Dang it. I don't know if I got him off in time. First down. Ooh, just enough. Okay, let's go back to this formation. Let's try some things. Uh, what have we called? Hitches? I kind of like the idea of a hitch corner. Let's do hitch corners. We're going man. Please go cover one. I want to go to my tight end here. The Hokey. Line up with six defensive backs. Doing oh, he's wide open. Oh, man, good defense. He was wide open. I don't know who was covering him. Oh, my gosh. I threw it. Should have threw it sooner. The clock has stopped. Uh, let's go back to wide trips halfback week. I'm trying to see if anything. Let's do Memphis. We're going zone. I want to bring this guy over. I want a center beater, just in case. 
Yeah, they're doing that. I don't know what that supposed to. Oh, he was wide open. Dang it. Holly, third and ten. Wide open. Just a terrible throw. I think I threw it a little too soon, but still. I didn't need to throw it that hard. All right, they always go zone when I call this play. I wanted to go ban once. They didn't, nope, he got off back in time. Fourth and four. Uh, let's just go for it. Let's go mid attack. And they're going zone. This may not work, we'll see. Didn't get it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. And back to defense we go. Story of the game. There we go. We got to fix that. Virginia Tech will line up in a jumbo set here. Good stop there. At the 42 yard line. Second and seven. Three yards on that run. Uh, second and seven. Let's just do a crash gold. Second down, seven yards to go. Virginia Lord knows our quarterback haven't done anything today. At least they're running some clock. Good pursuit there. Third and four. Uh, hmm. Let's just do quarters. I don't know what they're going to call. The Hokies line up in an I formation. They may just run it. Back to pass. One throw. Surveys the field. Let's it fly. What do you do? No pressure whatsoever. Nobody could get to the quarterback unless I do it myself. Whitaker with three wide receivers. Running clock. That's cool that they actually run clock. In the, it's been so long since I've seen the CPU do that, though. Oh, he got out of it. Pick that off. Good defense. Hey, we saw a knockdown. Finally. Finally saw a knockdown. Good deal. Of course, he's an impact guy, but still. Second and ten. Let's go crash gold, I guess. Back to the bare front. They're packed in tight on the line. They go with the run. And down he goes. It's about five yards there. Let's just go crash gold again. At this point, it doesn't really matter. At least the clock's going pretty well. It's about time. Lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. I'm a big fan of that safety right there. Covering the halfback. I'm going to go dead center. Ah, eh, stupid ref. Got my way. Dang it. First and goal. Let's just go all at blitz. Virginia Tech comes out with an eye formation. I got the fullback. They should score here unless we get very lucky. Go goal line. Go slant blitz. Of course, everything's sponsored by Coca-Cola. They 
touchdown. And they just continue to pour it out. Oh, okay. We got 22 seconds left. We'll try to do something. I don't expect much because we haven't got past the 50 yard line except once today. I don't know what to call at this point. It doesn't really matter. I hate that my running back couldn't do anything today, but against this defense, I guess that's expected. Williams from his own end zone. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You know who's trembling right now? I want to run the ball. I just want to give him the ball somewhat. Let's, we'll do a halfback option, then we'll do a, a counter tramp. We're going zone. Nothing. Man, I mean, just we can't do anything on this defense. Loss of one there for the halfback. Let's do a counter trap, and this will be the last play. Yard line. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. This may be tough. Let's just... Wow, Fumble City. Golly, I swear. Absolutely got annihilated. All right, let's just go to the stats and scores. I figure I keep that campus challenge thing going. So that last play was just terrible. I wish it didn't happen. Look at that. No blocking on that dude whatsoever. The pulling guard, I don't know what he's doing there. He just like, he got stuck on his own. That's what happened. He got stuck on his own guy. You see the foot's tangled right there? That's why it got blown up. Oh, that stinks. Okay. I'm okay with the score. I mean, because we're terrible and they're very good. First downs, they played, I mean, they put up over 500 yards of offense. We couldn't stop them whatsoever. 13 to 28, if you think about it, it's actually fairly normal for two average quarterbacks in terms of their accuracy. The run game was just nothing. Virginia Tech was not going to let us do anything today. Sacks, no sacks whatsoever, which I thought was interesting. Turnovers, there were three turnovers. Only three fumbles. Now, the, the minimum I've seen in the eight exhibition games is two. I think it's just, it is what it is. I don't know what to tell you. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to look past it and just get over it and just accept that it's going to happen. Two interceptions. So I'm okay with those numbers. That's fine. That's actually pretty normal, just only three, inter, three turnovers. Compared to seven or eight that I've seen in the past, I'll take it. All right, let's go individual stats. The only thing I wanted to see was... 6 of 12 and 7 of 16. If you think about it, that's actually halfway decent. I'm actually okay with that. Like I said, with our two quarterbacks. 50%, 43%. Now, the only thing that worried me a little bit was this right here. Sean Glennon played perfect football. 15 to 20, three touchdowns. He had one interception, and that's me getting in the way of it. But he threw the ball perfect. Now, this guy right here struggled. Hit their backup only one for three. So... Maybe I'm at a good spot of 40% on the QB accuracy. Other big highlight is their run game was incredible. Like, really, really good, which is good to see. That was my biggest worry in the other slider set. The other slider set, the opposing CPU run game was abysmal. It was nowhere to be found. We definitely found some of it today, so I'm okay with that. So, going forward, uh, oh yeah, here's a few other things we wanted to see. Virginia Tech only had one drop. We had like three or four. I know that much. We only had two. I'm okay with that. Both of them were because the receivers got hit when they caught it. The other thing I wanted to see was defense. They have pass deflections. They have three. We have three pass deflections. I'm okay with that. That's good. I was expecting none, to be honest. Here, look at, oh, wow, look at all these. Gee whiz, one, two, three, four, five. They had six pass to play. That's an amazing defense, though. It is what it is. Okay, going forward, let's get out of here. So like I said at the beginning of the video, the next video, I want to do the offseason for Mississippi State because I'm so close to it. I just want to get that out of the way. It should be a lot of fun. Then after that, I think we're going to go 07 onward, and we're going to start our dynasty. I've already picked out my offense more or less. i got to fool with it a little bit more. 
I got a few days to work on it. I haven't picked the team yet. I don't know if I'm going to pick a FBS or a uh, or a non Power Five or a Power Five. I haven't made up my mind. I don't know which one is best to test things. I I want to. We can talk about this briefly here. Let's just go to game modes and practice mode. Like, I, I want to I want to pick a team that's terrible for their conference at least. Like UAB, for just for example, they're one of the lower ones at Conference USA. I either want to do that or pick a terrible team in the Power Five. Like, I, I wanted to pick Duke because I'm a big Duke fan, but they're a B overall team. They got some talent on that team. Now, they don't have much on the offense, but their defense is pretty good. So I don't know which is best for dynasty purposes in terms of testing and see. I don't think it makes a difference. I may go with the Big East. This may be my time to finally go with Cincinnati or something. I may do that. We'll see. I don't know. I haven't really given much thought on the team wise thing, but offensively, I'm gonna do like a spread offense ish. Just so, I mean, I'll just leave it at that. Okay, that was a lot of fun. Come on back. We'll do the Mississippi State uh, off season video. Then after that, we'll probably go all seven going forward. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.